here comes the rain. Brief showers moving across northeastern Florida, more widespread light rain spread across southeastern Georgia. It's going to sweep through, but it's the cold front behind the rain that pushes through overnight tonight that really shapes our weekend. So we'll be drying out and clearing out after sunset this evening and temperatures diving down into the upper 30s and low 40s with clearing skies, making for a chilly start to what will end up being a cold weekend. Saturday is cold, windy, and sunny. We've got mostly sunny skies. Temperatures are only top out of the mid 50s with westerly winds between 15 and 20 miles per hour with gusts higher than up to about 30 miles per hour. The winds fade a little bit Saturday night and that will lead us to an inland freeze. Temperatures should get down into the low 30s. We'll see below freezing temperatures mainly over our inland areas and we'll be closer to about 33, 34 in town and upper 30s at the beaches. Then we only warm into the upper 50s with a little bit less wind on Sunday and mostly sunny skies. For MLK Day, we're waking up around 40 and we're warming up to around 60 with lighter winds and sunny skies. Tuesday will be chilly, sunny, and breezy again, and we'll do it again on Wednesday, but we do get a hint of milder weather on Wednesday afternoon as we climb into the upper 60s. And if you've been looking out for the next time the 70s are in the forecast, Thursday and Friday are our days. We're topping out in the low 70s and they're partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. I'm sure a cold front will come along and ruin it for us, but we do get two days of 70s at least as we head into the end of next week. For more information, you can read our detailed analysis on newsforjax.com. Have a great weekend.